The Loch Ness Monster was caught on camera and is definitely black and a fair size, a couple who were on holiday in the Scottish Highlands claim. Gloria and Ian Davidson spotted a dark creature with a head and neck as they drove alongside the lake on Tuesday. They stopped their car by Urquhart Bay and watched the creature for a minute before it submerged into the water again. Their sighting has been accepted and recorded as the seventh sighting of Nessie by the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register. Gloria, 57, from Corbridge in Northumberland, told the Daily Record, We have been to Loch Ness many times, but never seen the monster before. But I always like to look at the lock, I can't imagine how many pairs of eyes are on that lock at any one time. But I have spent periods looking at the water, because you never know. She was quite certain of what they saw as they stood about 300 meters away. She said, but at around 1.30 p.m. just after we had lunch, my husband was driving and I was in the passenger seat gazing out at the lock. Then I suddenly saw something and I said to Ian there's something down there. He turned around and we got out of the car and there it was. We were very excited. It was about 300 meters away and definitely black. It seemed to have a neck and head. I could definitely see its back and it was a fair size. It disappeared after a minute beneath the water. I had hoped there was something, Nessie, in the lock. You always want to believe in something. All I can say is that we saw something we cannot explain. But it was animate and it was definitely not a seal. Gary Campbell, recorder of the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register said, This is our seventh sighting of the year and these are all very credible sightings. It is clearly Loch Ness and clearly unexplained. In terms of Nessie videos it's also very clear and we still don't know what it is. It all adds to the mystery. But do these latest sightings explain the Loch Ness mystery, no? Do they add to the weight of evidence that there is something happening that is unexplained, yes? It's said the first sighting in 2019 of Nessie on January 24th was the earliest for 18 years. And the most recent sighting was recorded by a man called Mr. Pycock on May 27. Professor Neil Gemmell of the University of Otago, New Zealand, and his team have been taking water samples from the lock from three different depths on their research vessel DeepScan. The scientists collected DNA left by all creatures from their skin, scales, feathers, fur and feces. The DNA samples were then sent to labs in New Zealand, Australia, Denmark, and France to be analyzed. Professor Gemmel, an expert in genomics, ecology, population, conservation and evolutionary biology, said the data was tested against most of the main theories about the Loch Ness Monster. While full details of the study are yet to be released, Professor Gemmel said one of the theories might be correct. Is there anything deeply mysterious? It depends what you believe, he said. We've tested each one of the main monster hypotheses and three of them we can probably say aren't right and one of them might be. Professor Gemmel said he hoped to announce the findings of the study in full next month, but would not confirm which hypothesis might be right.